I spend about 75 to 80 percent of my time doing research, um, and that is IHPI related research in the policy relevant space, and then about 25 percent of my time in clinic in primary care, and then I also spend time on the inpatient uh, wards at the VA. My primary research interests relate to access and quality of care for low income and other vulnerable populations. So for me, the most interesting questions right now are, what is the impact of the Affordable Care Act, coverage expansions, and other policies on low income populations that didn't traditionally have health insurance? How do people um, get coverage to how do they use that coverage to access care to what kind of care are they receiving in the places that they're seeking care? And ultimately how that is shaping people's health and well-being, but also seeing some of the innovative strategies to, um, to these policies of coverage expansion and how those impact, um, impact low-income populations in a more nuanced way. Shortly after I moved to Michigan, the state passed its um, Medicaid expansion known as the Healthy Michigan Plan. I'm part of this very large team that IHPI has put together to look at various aspects of the Healthy Michigan Plan. And I have been interested in looking at some of the specific measures of how easy is it for people to get into primary care, to see a primary care physician like me. And already we, what we've been seeing in the state has been the opposite of some of the expectations that we had in that it's been easier or rather availability of appointments for new primary care patients has gone up since Medicaid has expanded. Relaying the results of my work to the state, um, it's been actually encouraging for them to move forward on even more programs and feel like that they have that flexibility. The larger impact of this type of work is seeing the pros and cons of any program or policy and trying to understand how we can improve anything that isn't working. And so I think over time, the whole Healthy Michigan Plan evaluation will have a much broader reach in terms of improving care for the population that is vulnerable, that is now eligible. There are many important issues facing healthcare, but I think the ones I'm most passionate about are what are ways that we can deliver care in a way that improves access and improves the experience of care for patients at the same time. There's been a lot of talk about the triple aim, trying to lower costs, you know, improve patient experience and improve population health. I think um, a lot of attention has been paid to costs, but I think the other aspects of that paradigm for how do we improve health care are, for me, the most exciting to tackle. So how do we improve that experience of care and how do we improve the overall health of people in the entire U.S. population? I think IHPI is that perfect intersection of research, policy, and collaboration. And so for me, it's been an amazing experience to work with people across disciplines. And I think as a physician, when I say that, people often think that means different specialties within medicine. But it's in fact an experience where a physician can sit around the table with an economist, with a public health practitioner, with a social worker, um, with people from various perspectives trying to all improve the healthcare system. I think a large reason why we were able to have such a successful bid to do the evaluation for the Healthy Michigan Plan, the Medicaid expansion specifically, was because of that spirit of getting together across disciplines very quickly, which I'm not sure would have happened at some other institutions. For me, I think the most interesting thing has been seeing patients who have gotten the Healthy Michigan Plan and seeing them in clinic and thinking what's, what's working for them and what's not. And that directly informs how I think about future research projects. And I know since a big, um, big part of that program, for example, is healthy behaviors, it's been interesting having those conversations with patients myself and trying to think about what are the ways in general to promote healthy behaviors and then specifically in the context that we live in, in my clinic, and then obviously in the whole state of Michigan. Mm -hmm.